Greetings all, Vanna here for Cancer's Weekly Message. Cancer, the first card that came out for you is the Nine of Cups. For those of you that have been focusing on self-love, healing, and stability, this is the reward coming in. Some more peace of mind, peaceful nights, and without all the stress and fighting. Otherwise, it is an opportunity to begin that healing journey because while he is holding one cup, there are many others that still need his attention, time, and energy. Now, not all cups will contain the same thing, which means they will not always be treated the same. A, for example, a cup of oil and a cup of wine, very different concepts, very different ways to care for them. And it's not really something that you can deal with together. You deal with these individual problems separately so that they don't overlap with the other. And these cups could be separate traumas, anxieties, fears, a self-limiting belief that you carry. I want to say that there is a nagging feeling some of my cancers have. Spirit, what is this nagging feeling? You're afraid of losing everything. You're afraid of losing everything that you've worked for. What I can say, my love, is if it was lost, it means it was not meant for you. Things are taken out of our lives when we realize that it is no longer something we want to take part of. And so things in resonance with that energy has to be removed. So I wonder if this is people walking away from your energy. And that may be because like, I wonder if people have, have called you like stuck up or egotistical. And I, I myself have received this from very close people that have looked at me and said, you, you think you're a know-it-all. You think you have figured everything out and that you're never wrong. And if you know me at all, you know that I have never said I know everything. I am fully aware that as a human, we make mistakes. There is hurt that went along with this because this situation was very convoluted. It was, it's complicated is what I feel. Like it is, it's more than just a betrayal and friendship and abusive or toxic partner or family situation. It is something that has gone down to the very core of your self-worth and the struggle that you have gone through to accept and integrate the unconditional love of spirit you are being very celebrated right now my love and your work was not in vain you will have the success that you want because it is over with this old life, this old way of doing things, it is no longer you. So please do not fear when change starts to occur. It only frightens the egos when they believe they have lost something, when they believe that there is something that they cannot get back. Very rarely, never have I had the death card mean a literal unaliving of someone. It is the essence of change. And change is chaotic. Change brings a lot of upheaval. It, of evil. it brings these painful memories to the surface. And what you decide to do with them is, is what is important right now. Are you going to just continue to hang on to these notions of lack? Or are you going to release it because you know that that is no longer what you want? Don't be afraid to sing. Don't be afraid to share your voice, my love, because it's something that's needed. Your voice, your words, your experiences, your life, your perspective, 
It is something that is needed in this world. Your unique vision is part of your life's mission. You never needed wings to fly. You never needed someone's permission or allotment or green card to go after what it is you desire, to go after what it is you want. You never needed that. Stop seeking expectations or approval from anyone outside of yourself. Because that will literally just lead to disappointment. You cannot control anyone outside of yourself. You control your reactions to the situations and how you will move forward with them. That is what test that is the testament to your growth. That is the testament to how much you have developed and what you can really accomplish is how you handle yourself during these situations. And are you aware of the mistakes that you made or are you allowing yourself to be blindly oblivious to the change and the impact that you had on a situation? Even if it was a mistake, you have to admit it because that was part of you and you have to learn from it. Endings are inevitable. You cannot fight it. Death is the only thing that we are guaranteed in this life. I know people will say the only thing that is guaranteed is death and taxes, but taxes is a physical thing. Taxes is something that we as humans put on ourselves. The animal kingdom does not use taxes. The nature does not use taxes. The only thing that is certain for us is death, is the change that we will all go through. And the more we fight it, the more we deny ourselves, the more we trap ourselves in these self-limiting beliefs. So please be honest with yourself about what it is you want, who it is you are, and where it is you want to go. And do not limit yourself to what you think you could accomplish because of your physical means, because of your physical location or abundance. Become your own knight. Become your shining armor. Become the hero in your story. You have dragons. Slay them all at the bottom of the deck. And what I love about this is that she has a prosthetic leg. She has been hurt, but she has not let it defeat her, keep her down the way it would for so many others. And that alone is a testament to your strength, Cancer. But if your emotional state is so out of balance that you do not believe that you deserve this, that you do not believe that you are capable of achieving this life of freedom, then you will forever trap yourself. Change the thought process. Change the words that you use and change how you view yourself. Because I feel like you do not give yourself the credit, the respect, or the acknowledgements that you deserve. Have a beautiful day, Cancer.